Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the dog queen, and welcome back to my channel. Cause I'm the fucking supreme. So as you can see, we have the Monster High Ghoul Spirit 6 pack. I was going to get this for Christmas. It was between this and the Parasite and doll, but I was going to buy it with my own money and what I was going to get for Christmas. Um, and this is out of stock on Walmart.com. And I only saw a fresh shipment at it of them at one Walmart out of like the six near me. So, even the one that I found the Creepover Party dolls at only, like, didn't have these. So, I was like, I, I'm, if I want this pack, I'm going to need to get it now. Um, and I'm glad I did because it took me looking through, like, 10 to 12 of them to find one where every single doll had a pretty good face. Um, the only ones that are, like, slightly wonky would be um, Draculaura and uh, Torlai, but everyone else looks great. Um... And I'll get into the wonkiness when we get to each doll. Um, for the six pack, I'm putting my hand right here, but I'll remove it. So now Dracula is blocked. Um, you have a little Monster High emblem right here with like the weird layered thing that they do on the end of all of the Monster High boxes. But it looks kind of silly here because <laughs> it's just like this large chunk and it's just a little bitty thing of Monster High right there. Um, and then you can see the Ghoul Spirit, um, little artwork right there. That is the only artwork of Ghoul Spirit that was made. Um, and then they have all of their little tags. Torlai, Frankie Stein, Draculaura, Glitter Nile, Claudia Mulf, and Deuce Gorgon. I don't know why Stripe was dropped as Torlai's last name, but it's whatever. Um, they each come with one accessory. And this was $125, which puts them at like $21 per doll, which is not worth it, considering the budget dolls offer a little bit more for less. Um, so this is probably meant to go on sale uh, on like Black Friday, and then it then it's a good deal. Because I saw online that someone, like it was available for 60 but it was out of stock, so yeah. If I can order the set again for cheaper, I'll return the cheaper set with the original price receipt thing. Yeah, anyway, that's a... Uh, rant for another day. Um, on the bottom, you can see all these icons that are also on the side of the box. Uh, which I will turn it. So you can see all of the icons. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, maybe if I tilt it up. Yeah. Or this way, I guess. So you have, like, a locker and, um, a little beaker, varsity jacket, school books, laptop, a uh, pinky promise between a wolf and a uh, Frankenstein, a uh, water bottle, locker, flag pins, more computers, text emojis, Draculaura's cherry juice, another varsity jacket... A diary, more water bottles, books, lockered, Monster High emblem. Um, so pretty cute. And then we'll look at the back, which is just the stock image of this six pack. They don't get any artwork besides the one on the front that only depicts Frankie, Draculaura, and Claudine. Um, and as you can see, Deuce does not have glasses. Don't know where that is, but you couldn't really put them on his face anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Um, you can see everyone right here. Then it says, we've got Ghost Spirit, how about you? Dracula and Torlai lead the fear leaders in a fantastic cheer as Claudine and the Cascaval team score a victory. Cleo, Frankie, and Deuce cheer from the crowd, ready to haunt after the game. Which normally they say fang out, not haunt out. So... Just putting that out there. And I stated with uh, Frankie's little um, thing is that there's Monster High at the bottom, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, which I think now it takes you to the their shop on Mattel, but it's still, like, it's stupid. I, I wish they would actually do something with the website. Um, so now, let's unbox these bitches. So now I'll be going from left to right from how they were in the package starting with Torlai. 
um, this is our second Torlai doll, and, um, she is here, either she or Deuce are in the place of Laguna, and, um, I'm gonna start off by that. This is a sports line, and Laguna is the sporty athletic one. Why is she not in this? I, I don't understand. Like, if Deuce isn't gonna play basketball, get him out of here and put in Laguna. Did they just not want to have to do another Laguna with uh, the legs and stuff? I don't know. That is just my main gripe so far, is that I would have loved to have a Laguna, which we did not. But with the dolls that we did have, really nice. Especially Torlai, because um, Torlai is still a fear leader, and she looks great. Um, her hairstyle is different, and the rooting is different, too, because we had, like, this red. It's more like a scotch color um, with pink stripes and, like, a large orange stripe right here. But now we're getting orange right here and here, um, which I like because more orange in Torlai's hair, please. Um, and I am a fan of the pink because pink and orange, I love that color combo. Some people hate it. I love it. Um, she does have different earrings as well. She is still has a black one, but she has two gold ones now. Um, and then for her face up, she now has, um, like same expression, same mold. Um, and this is where the wonkiness comes in because her, like this eye and eyebrow, perfect. This eye and eyebrow, a little push to the right, which gives her a little alien face, which is fine. And her lipstick is on her nose. And just a tad bit right there. Um, which is unfortunate, but everything else looks good. Um, and with her makeup, there are differences with this and her signature. Because now it's pink lid and a little green at the bottom. With a, um, like a deep pink uh, magenta-ish. It's like Gulia's skirt color for her lips, which are cool. Um, and this doll, I am going to, I think, give her short hair. I'm gonna have to think about it, but I think I'm probably gonna give her short hair and, like, put this in, like, a little ponytail up top. That's what I think I'm gonna do with her, but it was. Um, she has this choker, which is different from her other one, because it has a little cat bell on it. Um, she still has kept all the same articulation because we can pull this shirt up and you can see the chest joint. So they still have all the posability that a core doll has. Um, yeah, her outfit is cheap. Like all, all of their outfits are made of pretty cheap materials, which is why they're not worth $21 each. Like this is a very cheap papery material that has just printing all over it which is fine for like this little multi-pack thing and it, it gets the job done so i'm not like super mad about it but you know we weren't expecting rainbow high level here uh then her like top is like scratched out and it's i think burned it's not hammed at all but it's, i think it's burned um and it is red and pink um, and then we have the Monster High emblem, some stripes right here. It does not continue on the back. It's just red. So, uh, that is an unfortunate little Barbie moment right there. Wish that it did continue. It doesn't need to. I just wish it did. Then we have this high-waisted skirt made out of the same material. It's red, has some claw marks on it. Then we have a ribbon, a little stripe right there, a ribbon stripe right there. And then this pleating that goes all the way around. Um, yeah, at least the ribbons go all the way around. Her tail is still there and is still not removable. Um, and then she has yellow socks, which I feel like come out of nowhere, and I'll probably be removing these. Um, and then her shoes are really cool. They're like little scratch mark Adidas, and they have like a little closed mouth razor teeth thing right there. More teeth up there than like a little eyeball I think and then more scratches right there and this is all like all the bottom part is in the same coloring as her hair towards like that scotch reddish orange color and then there's 
scratch marks on the bottom of her shoes. And that is pretty nice. Um, she may or may not stand. And each one of them comes with at least one accessory. Hers is a um, like indigo and yellow megaphone that's shaped like a skull at. This is the same megaphone that was gifted to Ghoul Spirit Venus in G1. So they are not creating new sculpts, which, I mean, honestly, if it works, it works. Like, you really do not need to make a whole entire new sculpt if you already have one that is still in theme with the same, with the new generation and is fine. Like, I, I don't care. Some people may care. I don't care. Like, it's, it's kind of unneeded to do a whole new sculpt. So I'm not mad at all. All right, and next up is my favorite from this pack. I think there's one other ghoul that gives a run for their money. And it is Frankie. This is like one of the main reasons why I bought this six pack is for this specific Frankie. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. The hairstyle is awesome. The outfit is pretty good too. I, I really, really like them. Um, so we're gonna start off with their hair. It is saran, don't worry, it's not like creepover. Um, which again is like why did they not use saran for creepover? It, I don't know. Maybe they ran out of it. I have I have no clue. Um, it is like shoulder length and it is very jaggedly cut. Like I feel like I can trim this to make it a little more uniform because you see on the side right here it just goes up like that so like they pulled it forward like that and then just chopped it mm. yeah i need to fix that but they have mainly white hair with black streaks right here and a little blue streak in the back and then it is a side shave which i am a sucker for side shaves um so i love that they have one and it's like a purple dye for the shaved part. Um, most Frankies have like the purple starting right here where my nail is. So this is the only one that had a Frankie with a good painted side shave. And yes, it is painted and like sculpted short hair, no flocking, which is a little unfortunate. But I hope if they do make Venus in the future and give her a side shave that they'll give a... Uh, you know, Venus flocking, because Frankie with the sculpted is not the cutest look, but I'm not opposed to it. Like, I don't, it's not a big deal. Um, their hair is really soft, so that's why I keep playing with it. Um, their face up is pretty cool. They have, like, kind of a mismatched eye expression going. Like, this is a wider eye that's open and a raised eyebrow. And then this one is more of a relaxed eyebrow with the little eyebrow piercing that is more pronounced than the one that I have on my cordal. And then this eye is like that. And it's blue eyeshadow over here, pink over here, and then a little gray down here, lightning bolts right here, and a little stitch right there. Um, yeah, and then they have the same like nudish pink lip color, which I'm not um, mad about. And then... Uh, they only have one earring, which is a slightening bolt with a skelet on it, which I love, Frankie, and their skelet earrings. Um, let me do a little test rub. And, yep, it is sealed. All their stitches are sealed, so it's only the first batches that are unsealed. So hopefully, um, Hairplay Laguna or the other Old Skultimate Secrets Laguna that will come out Whichever one comes out first, I hope that it's the legs are sealed. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> and then for their sweater, it's oversized and really cute. I love this little sweatshirt. It's made out of the same uh, like jersey feeling material as their uh, varsity jacket, and I like it. Like and it has little uh, trims right there and like a little collar trim right there. It says monster right there. Lightning bolts, purple, blue, really nice. Um, yeah, and then, wait, does it Velcro in the back? Yeah, it does. Um, and then they also have this pleated skirt that is, um, pretty high, and it has a little, uh, lime green 
stripe. They have these large uh, stomping boots that are uh, translucent uh, lime neon green. Um, and then I have a little lightning bolt right there. I am personally going to be painting these black and leaving the sole right here, this translucent green, just because I feel like it'll be cooler. Um, but they're they're not like terrible boots. Um, same writing on the prosthetic leg, and they come with a little foam finger, which is the same sculpt as Cool Spirit Frankie before, and it is a hard -er plastic that you can just slip their hand into, and then you're good. Really love this Frankie. So next up is the one that everyone's probably obsessing over, Draculaura. And I really like this Draculaura. Um, goddamn. <laughs> uh, she's just very cute. Uh, she has the little pointy bangs, but also has the black and pink streaked hair. Um, like we've seen with her signature G1 doll and the other uh, Caboodle doll. And uh, she's got a little plastic pink bow up here because she is the other cheerleader. And I think she may be the leader of the Fear Squad. I'm not completely sure. But she is really cool. Like, I ended up really liking her. Uh, she has no earrings, which is a little unfortunate given that Torlai has earrings. So it's not like a cheerleader thing. Don't, like, wear earrings or whatever. But yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Um, her makeup is the same for the eyeshadow as every other Draculaura that we've gotten. Um, which is a little sad. I would have liked to have seen some variety from Miss Draculaura. Um, her lip color, though, is like neon pink. It's very, very bright. It doesn't look that bright on camera, but in person, whew, that is a lot lighter and brighter. And then her outfit is similar to... Uh, Torlai's, but different, because instead of red, we have this darker pink, and then instead of claws, we have drips, and this is a one-piece rather than a two-piece. And it has little ruffles down here. It's really cute. Uh, made out of the same material, too. Um, and then this pattern, as before, does not continue onto the back. Womp, womp, womp. But it is Mattel, who make cheap-ass Barbies, so... <sighs> We'll take what we can get. These are cute designs, at least. And then uh, she comes with the shoes, which are cute little sneakers with hearts and drips and little heart and bow wing thing. And then there's a, a sculpted on socks, which are atrocious. I hate sculpted on socks. With Torlai's uh, core doll, it wasn't that bad because um, I didn't even know there were socks. So, yeah. Here, it is atrocious, and I will be taking an X-Acto knife and just cutting off the molded-on socks, because, no. And then on the bottom, we have hearts with bat wings, and her accessory are these two um, little chunky french fry-looking pom-poms that are dense as fuck. So, good luck getting Draculaura to hold any pose whatsoever, because arm raised, the fucking thing will tilt her wrist. Yeah, this is uh, not really the best design. So next up, we have another one of my favorites, Cleo Denial. And um, ever since they gave Cleo yellow eyes, I've been obsessed with her. Like, I love this version of Cleo so much. She's so pretty. Um, so, I'm just, I'm out of words. She's so pretty, but we'll have to find some words. And uh, she is just stunning, gorgeous, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. Need I go on? Um, her hair blend is the exact same as before with the lighter blue, darker blue, and black. Um, was black always there? Maybe that was added. Um, and then instead of typical, uh, metallic gold, we have gold that is like a rainbow reflux off of the tinsel, and it is gorgeous. I love this tinsel. I wish they put more in it, 
which is like you never hear anyone saying yes more tinsel but here yes more tinsel like they gave core cleo so much tinsel and here they didn't really give her that much and her hair's shorter too uh it's like normal monster high length um and then she has this ugly ass headband with a little bee looking antenna so i might just chop those things off and have it just be a simple gold band i haven't decided yet um and then she has these geometric looking earrings which kind of remind me of bees so not the worst um and then her face up is really gorgeous this time no blue actually yes there is blue there's a dark blue on her lower waterline and then we have uh some metallic gold in her lid and a little bit of brown uh up top and then all the little geometric eyelashes are the same um her eyes are still blue and yellow this is just she's so pretty and then she has a deep red uh for her lips with a perfect gold line right there because if you recall mine was smudged uh on my cordal and her outfit is simple, but cute. And this is giving very Barbie, which, I mean, honestly, I don't really care because it's cute. So the main piece of it is this um, just shimmery gold uh, dress that has 13 on it. It's pretty cute. And then there's like this golden yellow in the back, which I really like the shade of yellow. Um... So even though it doesn't continue all the way, I feel like it still works. Um, I, I really like this dress. And then her jacket, which I love varsity jackets. So the fact that Cleo got one is everything. Um, it is, we have like her little tealish blue uh, for like these little mesh sleeves and then the trim. And then we have uh, hieroglyphics right here. Uh, a gold monster high emblem right here and then nothing on the back but this is a really 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 cute jacket i'm so glad that cleo got that and then cleo comes with a little monster high uh pennant flag in gold which like i said i have kind of become a cleo stone so that is what she looks like holding it. Pretty cute. I love this doll. Before I forget, I forgot to show the shoes, but uh, there are these little heels, or they're like wedges actually, and they have little geometric shapes along the, um, I don't know, sole of the heel. And then there's a little blue tip right here. Um, and then it just wraps around the ankle. It's a really cute shoe, and um, it'll probably look good on her cordal too, uh, if you're seeking a replacement for those boots. Because I love the boots, but some people like really hate those boots. And then the bottom have like these little winged scarabs. It's a really cute design for the bottom. Okay, now we can move on. Next up is the one who took most of the budget, and that is Claudine. So since she is the main character, she took most of the budget, and um. Oh god, I just realized this eye is bigger than this eye. Like, the two different styles of eyes that they give Claudine. Ugh. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, this Claudine has um, just a simple purple liner for the um, mascara portion. And then, like, hot pink lips. Um, and then she gets earrings as well with two little moons right there and then a little band right here and a moon uh hanging off that's really cute i'll steal that for another claudine um i can't get over the face my god that's atrocious um but yeah even her eyebrows are slightly no her eyebrows are the same but her eyeballs are different which is crazy um then we have a fabric orange little sweatband on top and it looks like it's just rolled fabric which i'm glad it's fabric i would expect it to be plastic and then her hair is the same blend but there's a little more of this uh darker purple in there 
Um, this is still poly, as you can see, it is real ugly. And I'll try my best to fix it, but yeah, it's, it's just atrocious. I wish Mattel would just stop it with that. And then Claudine also comes with this moon, uh, this gold moon sharp necklace, which is cute. Um, then has this uh, fur, well, I guess it's supposed to be one wrist arm sweat band thing. Um, and then for her outfit, it's this jersey material, material that is purple with a little 13 and has some blue and black stripes on it. And then it has orange fur, um, which actually feels really nice. I like the feeling of this fur. Um, and then we have matching shorts with the blue and stuff. Uh, the pattern does continue on the side and I, and the back. So, um... Like I said, the most budget got put into this girl right here. And then she has an orange knee pad right here, um, which you can still bend her knee and stuff and have no issues. And then she has the same black socks that we saw with her cordal. And then her shoes are white and orange, which look really cool with the little moon and stuff. And then um, little crescent moons right here, but supposed to mimic Adidas soles. Um, so yeah, Claudian definitely took all of the budget and she ended up looking pretty cool besides the one larger eye. Why is that a thing? Um, and then she came with two accessories. She came with these little sports goggles with black drips because, you know, Claudine does wear glasses now, so she's going to need some sports goggles. And she also plays basketball, and I guess she'll get into fashion. She's just, like, the character that can do everything, but is also really, really boring. Um, yeah, but I feel like they fumbled with Claudine's character, TBH. Like, I really don't care about her now. Um, so that's what she looks like with the sports goggles, which that covers up the large eye. So I'm going to keep those on. <laughs> And then she comes with a little hollow uh, Monster High basketball. There is a little skull on it right there, and it does bounce. Um, so she can just hold the ball like that. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. And for the last one in the set, we have Deuce, which should have been Laguna, but... It's fine, we'll have another deuce, because he at least looks really cool. Um, I wish they did another hair sculpt for him, so he could actually wear some, some glasses, because he can't really wear any with this hairstyle. Um, but his face, though, his face is really cool. I always, I love Deuce's face. They, I think they did such a great job with Deuce's face. And then I love his brows, too, and he has little blackout marks right there. Really cool. I want them to experiment, like, maybe give Deuce some earrings or something like that. I feel like Deuce would rock some earrings. Um, and he has on this cute little sweater. Um, that is, like, this cream color. Has Monster High right here with the purple and green logo right there. Purple on the trims. Snake skin that we saw on his jacket right there. And this is, like, the same jersey material that um, Frankie's sweater has. And then he comes with these shorts, which are the cheap little material that um, Draculaura and Torlai got. Uh, and there's black stripes over here, purple and black snake right here. Um, pattern does continue on to the back, which is good. And then his shoes, just like Draculaura, he also has um, some molded on socks that I will be cutting off. Uh, and then he has little cute sneakers with snakes on him and the bottom has a little serpent snake so yeah pretty fun and he still has his ankle articulation so if you bend this ankle you're gonna get a sock popping off um and his accessory is this little skullette mask um and in the artwork and or in the stock photos not artwork what artwork and the stock photos this was a translucent plastic so you could see his eyes not here and he's just stuck being skull face. So yeah, there's skull face. 
Ugh. This is not the most attractive, but it is fine. He's trying his best. Um, so, you know, he's solid, but I would have rather had Laguna if, you know, this was the case, which Deuce is just like a supporter rather than playing a uh, Casca Ball like in the original. Wish they would have made him a Casca Ball player along with Claudine. So you have like a two, two, and two, but no. So yeah, that is the Ghoul Spirit six pack. Um, I would say the price is way too high for what you get. Um, but I am happy to have them, especially uh, Cleo and Frankie. And then I really like um, Torlai and Jackie Laura. And then Deuce and Claudine, I could do without. Um, will I sell them? Maybe Deuce in the future. Claudine, no, because that's a really nice outfit. Um, so that's all that I have to offer. Bye.